Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, July 6th, and I decided to do what I did for you today. Uh, we fixed our internet situation at home, so I'll be able to upload tonight. So, I don't know. I have these, like, frizzies all around my head today. I don't really know what that's about. Um, but I've been at work for a little bit. It's, like, 9 o'clock, and I'm going to make breakfast. I had a banana already for zero points, and I brought some eggs I'm going to make in the microwave. I might just scramble them. Um, so that will be four points. And then I have some apples with cinnamon for a snack. And then we have the sandwich platter in here from yesterday. Um, it looks like it's got lots of veggies and stuff on it. So I will probably have a sandwich for lunch. That is from Jimmy John's. So I could probably look up pointage if I could figure out what it is that I'm eating. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I just put the wrong thing in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and make my eggs and I'll show you what I came up with when I'm done making them. Okay, so what I did was I cracked my eggs in a bag. I added two of these mini moos. There's just half and half. I believe one is zero points and two is one point. And some salt and pepper and I just scrambled my eggs in here. So I'm gonna pour them in this bowl. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just put them in the microwave. All right guys, there's the perfect microwave um, eggs, scrambled eggs. I put them in for 30 seconds, took them out, mixed them around, another 30 seconds, mixed them around, and then 15 seconds, because there were just a tiny bit of wetness in there. Um, so yeah, this is uh, five points. Breakfast. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it is like, I don't know, 11.21 apparently. I have a massive headache and I am headed to Sam's Club to grab the biggest bottle of Excedrin that I can find. Um, yeah, uh, it's like the right side of my head, it's just pounding. And typically when I have a headache, it's usually one side of my head. Um, and I told you guys before, the only thing that will take it away is Excedrin. I've had this headache since last night probably about 6 30 7 o'clock yesterday and I got a little bit desperate so I took some leave before I went to bed last night hoping no it I woke up and I still have a headache um yeah so I know that the only thing that will make it go away is excedrin so uh yeah and you know, if you go to like Walgreens or Rite Aid or CVS, they're like really pricey and you only get like a little bottle. So I figured I use Excedrin at home and at work, so I might as well just get a gigantic bottle that'll last me for a little bit. Um, I haven't eaten lunch yet, so all I've had today was a total of five points. I had my banana and then I had my two eggs with uh, a little bit of half and half to make them fluffier um, and then when I get back from the store I'm going to have a sandwich it's gonna be really hard to go to Sam's and not get like a piece of pizza but I'm not going to do it their pizza is really good especially when it's fresh but I bet you there's probably a line there because everybody probably goes there it's like you can get like a pizza and a drink for like two dollars or something uh, or a slice of pizza but it's a big slice of pizza um, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not a fan of their hot dogs, but you could also get a hot dog and a drink for like two bucks, which is super like cheap. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. And uh, ugh, there's, there's roadkill everywhere around here. I'm driving down, like, I don't know if you guys can see, like, out of my windows, but like, this is a pretty populated area. It's like a highway with like stores and stores and restaurants everywhere and there's like roadkill where did it come from anyway so yeah I just want to check in and I will check in when I have my lunch which hopefully is soon because I'm pretty darn hungry okay guys I am back to work from Sam's I just grabbed some strawberries this is $3.98 like you can't beat that um, and then some of these for work, I'll probably just leave them here. I'll have to scan them again, but I think they're seven points. Um, so yeah, I haven't had them in a while. So, and then of course I got my Excedrin. 
my Excedrin, which I took at 12.55, 11.55. And so we'll see how long it takes to make my headache go away. Um, and I'm gonna make some lunch, so I will show you that in a moment. Okay, here's my lunch. I picked the one with the turkey. So turkey, turkey, I just had two, and I'm probably gonna take the tomato off of it. So this is Jimmy John's turkey sandwich. I'm gonna look it up to see if I can find the points, and if I can, I will put it somewhere on the screen. Hey everyone, so I am headed home from lunch, lunch, uh, work. There is a chicken truck in front of me and it makes me really sad. Does anybody else feel like that? <sighs> I hate it. I hate it so much. It makes me want to throw up. Which is weird because like, I pretty much only eat chicken. But like, it could just totally turn me into a vegetarian. Seriously. <sighs> anyway. I left a few minutes early because my child is a brat and I want to talk to his teacher to see if she had any suggestions since, you know, she went to school for childhood development slash education, I guess. Um, I wanted to see if she had any sort of suggestions on what to do when he's misbehaving and stuff because unfortunately he is, is young too young to understand some punishments and timeout doesn't really work that well for him because what happens is it just makes him upset and he just sits there crying or screaming and well that's not pleasant for anybody so I find that I need to figure something else out and I'm really tired of yelling so hold on I need to speed past the chicken truck because it's making me sad Do you guys see it Ugh. Anyway, um, there's a Purdue factory, like, pretty darn close to where I'm, well, I'm passing it, basically. Um, <clears throat> anyway, my shoe's untied. I feel like it's untied. It's untied. It got, like, really, I'm so weird. I like my shoes tied super tight. Is that weird? And I can feel that it's loose and it feels weird. Like I wanna tie it right now, but I guess I can't because I'm, um, okay, I just watched somebody turn from the wrong lane. People don't know how to drive around here or anywhere probably. Anyway, so yeah, um, dinner is going to be chicken of some sort. Um, I've cut up some chicken and seasoned it for um, some meals so I will probably cook that up I'm trying to think if I want to just mix that with some mixed veggies and maybe I have this tastefully simple I don't know if you guys know what tastefully simple is or sorry my phone I guess the thing is loose so it keeps like falling um, I don't know if you've heard of or know what tastefully simple is it's kind of like one of those direct sales companies like pampered chef or what Jamberry you know my friend sells it and it's actually really good. They're kind of expensive though. Um, and I placed an order with her like months ago and I finally just saw her a couple weeks, like maybe like two weeks or three weeks ago. And I finally got my order from her. It was like 50 bucks and I only got, I got three sauces and two like seasoning spices. Um, but they're really, really good. If you guys have ever been to TGI Fridays and you, like their Jack Daniel sauce, which I'm not even gonna lie to you, I have no idea how many points it is. I've never thought to look. I haven't used it since like Sunday when I started like, you know, really tracking everything. Um, I don't know if it's in the app, I'd have to look. I'd probably just have to calculate it. Um, but anyways, they have a sauce that's called uh, Bay Bayou Bourbon Glaze. It's so good, tastes just like the Jack Daniel stuff. Um, and then they have, I have another one that's like teriyaki, like garlic, which is kind of Asian-y. And then they have another one that I got, which was, um, garlic Parmesan wing sauce, which I just, I don't make wings. I don't like the bones in chicken. Um, 
wings freaked me out. I've had a few not so great experiences with making my own wings and I will never do it again. Um, I don't mind chicken wings out. I'd prefer them to be boneless though. <laughs> um, anyway, this car just sped up in front of me into a lane that uh, is ending. So I really hope they're turning, otherwise they look like a D-bag. You better be turning, you D-bag. They are. Anyways, um, I just rambled for way too long about nothing. So I am going to go into school. Hopefully my teacher hasn't, my, hopefully Caden's teacher hasn't left yet. And yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys in a bit when I make dinner and I show you what I've made. Um, you're gonna have to hang on though while I park. This is literally the worst parking lot ever. It's a big square. And obviously everybody has to park on the outside of the square because then you'd be blocking people in. And uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Everyone. so I wanted to share my dinner with you it's a concoction I just literally just made up in my head as I was cooking um, and calculating the points but um, I'm calling it Italian chicken and rice I have some jasmine rice on here for I believe I'm gonna put it on the screen but I believe the rice is four points the chicken is three points so that's seven I have an onion, I have garlic, I have diced tomatoes, all zero. I have less than a quarter cup of this fat-free mozzarella, which is zero. I have one pinch of sugar in here, um, which I'm counting as one point, and then, um, let's see, seven, eight. I don't know, I'll have to go back and, uh, oh, and I used some Italian dressing, so that was three points. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Okay. There is eleven points there. <laughs> Anyways, um, I haven't tasted it yet, so I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but it smells really freaking good. So. Hey everyone. So I'm going to end my vlog here. I'm not even sure how long it is. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, and you guys enjoyed it. Uh, dinner was really good. So hopefully I'll remember how to make it. Um, but yeah. It was really good. Um, I definitely recommend, as always, just experimenting in the kitchen and, like, using different seasonings and spices and stuff. It definitely, like, livens up food. Um, so, yeah, that is all for now. Oh, and if I didn't mention, um, what I made made, like, two servings. So I, like, cut it in half. So it was 11 points. Well, 22 points for all of it and, you know. So I split it in half. So it was 11 points per serving. So the other half will be my lunch tomorrow. Um, it's not something my husband or son would eat, so my husband had leftover Emily Bites Buffalo Chicken for the second day in a row. So he's had it for three days, which is funny. He loves Buffalo Chicken, so he doesn't care. And my son had chicken nuggets. So, um, that's like the good and bad with, uh, having a picky family. So, anyways, I am going to watch some Netflix. I started watching a show called Shameless last night. I don't know if you have heard of that, but it, it was pretty good. The, ep the first episode was really long, though. Um, but anyways, I am now ram rambling. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for welcoming me back. Thank you for welcoming me back with open arms. I appreciate it, and all the love makes me so happy. Um, yeah, I'm excited for weigh-in on Sunday, hopefully, or Saturday. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. But I'm trying really hard, and I think today was pretty successful. So on to another day tomorrow. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.